Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Deepanka, and we are going to continue this series of Home Studio tips and tricks over here. So in this video, we are going to continue another trick that is how to write the complex or maybe nested and or conditions in your data raptor. So if you see over here in the Salesforce Inspector, where I am extracting ID name industry and annual revenue from account where the annual revenue is not equals to null and the industry is any of these three values right so it gives me this value and you can see this over all these values that i am getting annual revenue is not equals to null and if we are going to implement this same in data raptor it's not going to be very straightforward let me show that you over here I have written this condition annual revenue is not equals to null and industry can be apparel or energy or electronics and if I preview this you can see this we are not getting the values right we are not getting annual revenue for these three values and in the right side if I show you the statement this statement is not equivalent to this statement that we have over here right so it uh, it uh, directly queries the where industry is energy or the industry is electronics or the annual revenue is not equals to null and industry equals to apparel right so this is not how we are going to do it in data raptor to do it in data raptor we have to break this complex sql filter criteria into single and or single or conditions right so let me show you how this can be done so instead of writing this right instead of writing this let me duplicate this and and here instead of writing the and condition over here we can write the and condition over here and industry is equals to apparel or we are going to decompose this SQL and similarly we can write something like this we can write something like this and industry is equals to electronics and if I run this okay so there is some issue so let me decompose this this one and industry is electronics or okay so this is wrong so thing is that what i'm trying to make you understand is that this query is exactly equivalent to this query so this is the decomposed version of the query right so if you are going to create multiple conditions so we have to decompose this into single and and or conditions with the same set of fields over and over again right so similarly if i am gonna do it in data raptor so what i can do let me remove these filters this one and this one and here we can write a or condition we will again include the same set of fields annual revenue and and we will also include the industry again right so annual revenue can be null i'll just write it blank or maybe you can write something like this velocity dot null as of now and it will still also work and uh, let me get another one that is called energy right and let me get it over here and if i am gonna preview this now you can see that this has been decomposed right into simple conditions and similarly if i am gonna include another field right so what i can do i'll write another or conditions with annual revenue that is equals to blank and we can pick this electronics field from here as well and let's build the final one and 
and industry should be equals to electronics and if i am going to preview this it will give me the same set of fields okay so here i have did the mistake it should not be equals to blank and let's click on execute right so this is how we are going to write complex filter criteria in data raptor so that's it for this video and thank you for watching